All right, Shalom, Yasharala, peace, Israel. First off, I would like to give all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Akakadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Most Stone, who rule well and has taught us this truth, and also peace and salutation to the hopeful elect out there laboring truth and sincerity on the four corners of the earth. Understand it in the banner of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Akakadash. And also, Shalom uh, to, to you listeners out there, the Akim, or Akwakim that are tuning in, all right, for spiritual hydration. All right, it's the brother Korab here from the GMS Boston camp, and just want to go into a quick lesson. And Lord's will let this lesson be edifying. All right, and this lesson is uh, revolved around this article, as you see on the screen. This is from Salaki, so bear with me real quick. This is from RT News, and this was posted today. This is uh, July 2nd, 2020, as you can see the date right here. So, um, and it reads the title of it is. Mongolia locks down city west, so like a western city after two people test positive for plague. All right. And it goes and say, Mongolian authorities have locked down the city of Kov, a region in the province of the same name, after two people tested positive for bu 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 bubonic plague. They were poorly caught the deadly disease by eating marmots. All right. And, and, and what Marmots is, it's a rodent, as you can see here. All right. So these two, these two, these two people ate Marmot, which is a rodent, which is unlawful by what, in, in the scriptures. All right. And this is how they caught that disease. All right. I'm reading it again. It says they reportedly caught the deadly disease by eating Marmots. Two unidentified individuals contracted the Marmot plague in the in the cold region. Mongolia's National Center for Zoonotic Disease, NCZ, NCZD, said in a statement on Wednesday, local, local media reports said the victim were a man 27 years old and a woman of unknown, unknown age. It says the NCZD said it, it traced 146 people who were in direct contact with the infected duo and 504 more secondary contacts. They are currently analyzing samples from these individuals. All right. This is Kov is a western part of Mongolia, north of the border with China. A 2019 plague outbreak in a nearby province bordering Russia prompted the closure for, of a border crossing, stranding a number of Russian tourists. That outbreak was also linked to consumption of more mop meat and claims the live they claimed the lives of two people. Lubonic plagues killed over 50 million people in Europe in the 14th century, but pockets of it remain around the world. Was saying which was knowing that these pestilence uh, haven't been wiped all uh, uh, altogether been wiped away. You know, it hasn't all it hasn't been all uh, uh, how can I say it? eradicated off the earth you know they still in regions of the earth it just said like i said but pockets which is a, a remaining uh, uh, amount you know a small amount or however uh however uh the amount is but it still exists it's still out here and this is but pockets that will remain around the world according to the world health organization there were 3248 cases reported worldwide between 2010 and 2015 including 584 deaths, it is treatable with modern antibiotics, all right? And you know, um, this is uh, part of the plagues that the, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, the anointed, you know, this is what He spoke of. This is what He's bringing unto the earth, all right? So now I'm going to go, uh, go into uh, a, a little of, of this plague, I'm a, I got another article to, to, to further expound on uh, what took place uh, with this plague before and what this plague is. So I'm going to go into the, uh, the Mar 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 Marmot plague definition. This is the plague in Marmots is of a uh, mnemonic form spread by Marmot coffins. Coffin, the plague can jump from Marmot to human through the bite of the Tarbagan. Tar or through consumption of meat, all right? Marmot uh, epi episodic 
are known to co-occur with human epidemics in the same area. All right, so it's, it exists in rodents, right? And you can contract it by uh, if a flea bites this rodent and, 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 and then it eventually bites a human, or you can they can contract it by through consumption of meat, through someone eating this animal, all right? And when you go into this article, right, this is from uh, the BBC News, it says plague's death. Quarantine lifted after a couple dies of bubonic plague, and this was posted May 7, 2019, which was a year ago. All right. And it says a quarantine imposed in Mongolia after two people died from the bubonic plague has been lifted, allowing a number of tourists to leave the area. The Mongolian couple contracted the illness after eating the raw meat of a marmot, a type of rodent. Following their deaths, a six-day quarantine was declared on May 1st in Mongolia's western Bayan Ogli province border bo bordering both China and Russia. In previous centuries, plague outbreaks killed millions in Europe and Asia. Human cases are now rare, but still can be still still slacking, but can still be deadly unless treated with antibiotics. All right. And this is um what happened. This is the couple had eaten raw marmot meat and kidneys thought to be a folk remedy for good health, all right? And I'm not even going to say that name, <laughs> but um, continuing on, this is, a, uh, I'm going to say AO of the uh, World Health Organization, the, which is who, and, uh, you know, told BBC, it says, suspicious, uh, suspicion, uh, the two victims had developed a high contagious uh, pneumonic plague led to the decision to impose the quarantine. The rodent is known is a known carrier of the plague plague bacteria and is commonly associated with plague plague cases in the country. Hunting the rodent is illegal. All right, so it's illegal for hunting the rodent, but you still have people consuming it or eating this rodent. All right, it says it says uh according to uh Mrs O, 118 people had come into contact with a couple and were isolated and treated with antibiotics for pro, pro, pro phylax, phylaxis. It says that uh, among those were seven foreign terrorists from, Slovakia, like said terrorists, tourists from Switzerland, Sweden, Kazakhstan, and Korea. This is media reports, however, but the, but the number of tourists much higher, saying travelers from Russia, Germany, and the U.S. were barred from leaving the area due to quarantine. All right, and I'm gonna jump down and says, how dangerous is the plague now? It says, while rare, the plague is, still continues to be a threat to humans. The disease typically transmitted from animals to humans by fleas has, 30, has a 30% to 60% fatality rate if left untreated. All right, it says in Mongolia, one case was reported in 2017, but it was not fatal. In 2016, no cases were reported. From, eight, from 1989 to 1997, there were 69 cases in the country and 22 cases, miss 22 deaths, according to the WHO, uh, Miss O, stated Miss O, right? It says, uh, the U.S. also still has annual cases of the diseases and 12 rec recorded fatalities since 2000, since the year 2000. Uh, and um, I'm going to just jump down to the symptoms as you see right here, all right? It says symptoms of the plague includes high fever, chills, nausea, weakness, swollen limbs, nods in the neck, armpit, and groin. It can be hard to identify in its early stages because of symptoms, which is usually developed after three to seven days, are flu-like. All right. It says there are three main types of plagues depending on how the infection manifests. The bubonic plague is characterized by swollen limb nods. Uh, pneumonic plague affects the respiratory system. It becomes uh, seps, septic, septic, septica mic slaki, if I butchered that wrong, if I said that wrong. It says, if it is found in the bloodstream, the Black Death, as it was known at the time, caused about 50 million deaths across Africa, Asia, and Europe in the 14th century. Its last terrifying outbreak in London was the Great Plague of 1665, which killed about a fifth of the city's inhabitants. 
In the 19th century, there was a plague outbreak in China, India, which killed more than 12 million. All right. So this 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 plague has been, uh, 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 um, as you see once again, it says, uh, it's been it's been it's been issued. It's been it's been taking place in times of old. You know, in the the, the, the older years, you have um. You know, they say 1989 to 1997, they, they found case 69 cases, all right, in this country. But then also, when you go back into it, it says the Black Death uh, is going all the way back to the, 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 the Dark Ages, all right? It says in the 14th century, all right? And it says uh, in the 19th century, there was a plague outbreak in China and India, which killed more than 12, 000, I mean, 12 million. So, you know, that's taking people in great number, all right? And I'm going to grab a precept. Because, you know, we, we can see where this is going, all right? Scripture says, without vision, the people perish. So in order for you to know what's taking place, you know, when you see these things happen, and we know we have kind of have a sense of uh, what direction it's going to go. And mainly because we have the blueprint, which is the scriptures, which is the, the words of Yahweh Bashim El that we that we, uh, we, we, we understand, that we take in, all right? And this is uh, 2 Ezra 5 and 1. It says, nevertheless... As concerning the tokens, behold, the days shall come that they which dwell upon earth shall be taken in great number, and the way of truth shall be hidden, and the land shall be barren of faith. All right. So it says that they shall be, uh, they that dwell upon the earth shall be taken in great number. And a, a pestilence is a way to take out a lot of people, you know, by, um, you know, one person contracting. As you can see right here in this article, it says two people contracted the plague, but they, it was also in contact with a uh, direct contact with 400, uh, I mean, it's like 146 people, right? And also, as a secondary contact, you have 504 more secondary contacts, all right? So it's just nothing for two people to go and get in contact with people uh, amongst them and for, for this, for this uh, disease to spread, all right? So I have another video just going into it, it's a little quick video. And I'm going to just play it. BBC News reports the bubonic plague is usually spread from animals to humans by fleas. According to NPR, the plague is caused by the bacterium Yersinia pestis, which lives in infected animals such as rodents. The plague causes bleeding and infected sores on a person. If left untreated, it can kill a person in a number of days. The disease can turn septicemic or pneumonic once the bacteria has spread to the lungs. The pneumonic plague can spread from person to person via droplets in the air. Symptoms of bubonic plague include fever, headache, swollen lymph nodes, vomiting, and joint pain, while symptoms of pneumonic plague include fever, headaches, cough, chest pain, and muscle weakness. If diagnosed early, the disease can be treated with antibiotics such as streptomycin and tetracycline, according to the World Health Organization. All right, so this is this is this is um this is all taking place, and the Lord spoke of it in the times of old, you know, in 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 the ancient time. All right, so I'm gonna get it. This is uh, Matthew 24, and I'm gonna read. Um, I'm gonna jump to verse six. It says, "And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of war. See that ye be not afraid. And so I can see that you be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet." For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famine and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All right, so now let's look up. Uh, let's see, uh, play. Definition. All right. The plague is also known, uh, it's also uh, known as a, a pestilence, all right? It says, a contagious bacterial disease characterized by fever or delirium. This is typically with the formation of uh, buboes, bubonic plague, and sometimes infections of the infection of the lungs. All right, now let's look up the word pestilence. This is a fatal epidemic disease, especially bubonic plague. All right, and then you go down, as you can see. Synonymous word is 
the word uh, is, is plague, bubonic plague, disease, contagious, infection, sickness, epidemic, pandemic. All right. Now going back. Now he said it's going to, I'm going to read it again. This is Matthew 24 and 7. It says, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There shall be famine and pestilence, pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. Um, places. All these are the beginning of sorrow. So now we have another pestilence, another uh, disease uh, um, coming to the world or uh, taking, taking, taking this, uh, doing this work, you know, and uh, this is on top of, you know, Esau talking about there's going to be a second wave of the coronavirus. All right. So, so, so we've seen this all, it's all coming together. We see that um, this prophecy is uh, unfolding. All right. We got, a, I got another precept. The second Ezra's. 15 chapter 16 chapter 7 and 16 all right so this is second Ezra 16 and one it says will be unto thee Babylon and Asia will be unto thee Egypt and Syria all right and gold means destruction all right it says gird up yourselves Gird up yourselves with cloth of sacks and hands and beware your children and be sorry for your destruction is at hand. All right, because not just only in America, America, you know, which is known as um, spiritual Sodom in Egypt. When you read Second Ezra 15, uh, uh, the 15 chapter, since I'm there, uh, since I'm there, I'll grab it real quick. All right, it says this. Uh, 15... And 10, it says, uh, 2nd Ezra 15, 10 says, Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter, and I will, suffer, I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. And that word Egypt is synonymous with bondage, all right? And, and which is also, once again, America, because in, in Revelations, this is, um, this place is known as a uh, spiritual Sodom in Egypt, all right? And it says, But I will bring them with a mighty hand, and a stretched out arm, and smite Egypt with plagues as before, and will destroy all the land thereof, all right? Not just only in Babylon, because we know that this is where uh, the, the 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 majority of this the you know, max the max uh, how can I say it? it's gonna it's gonna max out on this side because this is the seat of wickedness. All right, all right. So so it's not just gonna uh, uh, be here. It's gonna be all over the earth, I man. It's this this um the the pestilence these the the, the the plagues that the Lord is going to send is going to be all across the earth. That's when you read it. It says, go until you um, grab it again. 16 and 1. This is, woe be unto thee, Babylon and Asia. Woe be unto thee, Egypt and, and Syria. All right. And, this, and then it goes on to say, um, gird up yourself with cloth, cloth, cloths, um, clothes of sack and hair. Beware your children be sorry for your destruction is at hand. A sword is sent upon you, and who may turn it back? A fire is sent among you, and who may quench it? Plagues, just once again, you see the key word. Plagues are sent unto you, and what is he that may drive them away? All right, because this is all coming from the Father Yahweh Shemel Shah. All right, it says, May any man drive away a hungry lion in the woods, or may anyone quench the fire in stubble when it begins to burn? May any, may. May one turn again the arrow that is shot from a mighty archer. The mighty Lord sendeth the plagues, and who is he that can drive them away? All right. Um, continue on says, A fire shall go forth from his fury, and who is uh, who is he that may quench it? All right. And I'm going to go and jump down to verse 14. It says, Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come unto upon the earth all right and that's the lord that's the lord's plan all right the lord's plan is to to, to 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 send these plagues in these upcoming time because we are living in the time of the end and and, and once again in second Ezra the 15 chapter says wickedness had exceedingly polluted the whole earth all right so this is why the lord's doing what he's doing all right it says our uh, verse 15 the fire's kingdom shall not be put out to it, it it consumed the foundation of earth all right, and that that, that fire could, um, means uh, ICBM missiles. All right, all right. So it says, like as an arrow shot from a mighty archer, return not. Even so, the plagues 
that shall be sent upon the world, sent upon the earth, shall not return again. All right. So that's that's the you can't once once these once the heavenly Father uh, uh, bring forth uh, um, these plagues, you can't turn them away. And I got a quick precept just to back that up. Thirty nine. I right, so bear with me. All right, it says, This is uh, uh, Sirach 39, the book of Ecclesiastes 39 and 28. It says, There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on so stroke. In the time of destruction, they part their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. All right. And, and, and what is a plague? The plague is a spirit created for vengeance. All right. It says fire and hail and famine and death. All, well, all these were created for vengeance. All right. It's teeth of wild beasts and scorpions and serpents and sword punishing the wicked to destruction. All right. And it says they shall rejoice in his commandment and they shall be ready upon the earth when need is. All right. So when it says that this, it's, it's like the plagues are like uh, uh, he compared the plagues to as an arrow that is shot by a mighty archer. He said, "Who may turn it away?" All right. Because once again, we have that spirit for vengeance. Their their sole purpose is to do according to what the Most High said. All right. That's why it said they shall rejoice in his in his commandments, and they shall be ready upon the earth when need is, and when their time has come, they shall not transgress his word. So it's not gonna it's not gonna uh, disobey. The orders that he sent them to do, they're gonna do exactly what he uh, uh, uh what, exactly what he set them up to. All right, so going back, going back to Second Ezra sixteen. All right, Mister Seventeen. Second Ezra 16 and 17, it says, Woe is me, woe is me, who will deliver me in those days? And what days are you talking about? The times that come, the time of Jacob's trouble, the time when these plagues is uh, uh, spreading and, 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 and doing its will, according to what the Most High set them up to do. You know, uh, famine is out here. You know, great death is out here. All right? And this is verse 18. The beginning of sorrows and great mourning, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars, and the power shall stand in fear. The beginning of evil. What should I do when these evils shall come? All right. And I mean, may I uh, mention too, you know, just like the coronavirus, the coronavirus started in that region, all right, which is in China, in Wuhan, China. But it didn't take that long for it to get over to America. All right. It didn't get that long. It didn't take that long for it to, to stretch forth across the whole earth for, for, for cities to be locked down and people to have, um, you can still go on YouTube and watch videos of these cities uh, uh, locked down where there's no vehicles, little to none, you know, roaming the streets and people being out, all right? So, so like, you know saying, showing you that this can put, uh, be a potential, uh, uh, the same the same situation, all right? This could potentially be the same situation, but if not worse, all right? Once again, and they also talk about a, a, a a second wave of the coronavirus, right? And it reads, uh, continuing on, verse 19, it says, Behold, famine and plagues, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendments. And let's look at that word, scourges. It says, A whip used as an instrument of punishment, a personal thing that causes great trouble or suffering, all right? So this is what these this, this is what the Lord is sending, man. He said, but famine, plagues, tribulation, anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. All right. Once again, I'm gonna read the definition. It says, a whip used as an instrument of punishment, and the Lord is punishing the world right now, right? It also says a person or thing. And what is that thing? These plagues. All right. See, oh man, that's beautiful. This is a person or thing that causes great trouble or suffering. Once again, the uh, uh, similar words are aff affliction, bane, curse, plague, menace, evil, misfortune. 
All right. So this is coming on the world, man. This is this is this is gonna cause great trouble and suffering. All right. And why is that? Because it's used as an instrument of punishment. All right. Because of uh, once again, because wickedness, wickedness, it was, it has exceedingly polluted the whole earth. All right. So the Lord is gonna is the Lord is gonna is gonna uh, uh, jack this place up. All right. Going back to it. And it says, uh, all right, uh, verse 20, it says, But for all, th all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in a good case. And even, even then shall evils grow upon earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. So when people are sleeping, people not paying attention, because life is how it is it's continue going and victuals um the definition goes in the food or provision all right so food being cheap you have the opportunity to still buy food go grocery shopping you know people uh still got the opportunity especially now with, with, with people um you know uh collecting unemployment you know they they think that you know in in the cities opening back up they think that everything's going to be all right it's going to go back to normal but the law has a plan man and his plan is going to catch a lot of people off guard all right, and that's what it says for a uh, uh, great confusion, because a state of confusion is to think that something is going to go back to normal, and then when it doesn't, you ask them why and how is this possible? You know, verse twenty-two. So for many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine, and the others that escape the hunger shall shall the sword destroy. All right, and it says, and the dead shall be cast out as dung, and then shall shall be no man to comfort them for the earth shall be wasted and the city shall be cast down all right so i'm gonna just end it off there all right and with the dead it says and the dead shall be cast out as dung that's because it's going to be so much bodies out here that you're not even not even going to be able to bury them. all right and people will probably dying of sicknesses people dying of hunger people dying because uh, of other men invading them for lack of bread you know uh, these troops out here all right these uh, mar uh martial art troops out here acting up and, and, and you have you know uh them just running rampant and, and slaying slaying things that's in their way you know that's why ezra said what was me what was me who would deliver me in those days all right so these are the times that we're coming into once again you know uh, i'm showing you that there's a plague there's something brewing up over them and this is a lockdown because two people tested positive for the plague but it's only a matter of time, and we, we ought to just sit back and watch and see where it goes from here. That's 2 Ezra 9. Let me get it. Let's end it off on this one. And this is what we ought to do, man. Measure the time. Understand what's going on and, and be wise and circumspect. Be ready for the battle. And this is uh, 2 Ezra 9 and 1. And he instantly then said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest parts of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shall thou understand that is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. All right. So this is the most side visiting the world which he made. All right. And how's he doing it? By these prophecies, by these signs, by the things that he spoke of in the, in, in the days of old, which is actually occurring uh, today. You know, and I say today, but in this time period. All right. So once again, uh, the year 2020, the year of prophecy, which is deemed by Apostle Tahar. And you can see it, all right? And once again, just we just got to continue to, to to seek the Lord and, and, and hope that he have mercy on us in these time to come, you know, so that we may be saved, you know, from out of this destruction, you know? Woe is me, woe is me, who's going to deliver me in those days? As Ezra said, but guess what? We have a way out, which is Yahweh Bar Shemel Shah and, and serving and doing the things that are pleasing us, all right? Which is keeping his commandments to the best of our ability and pushing his word and doing what's righteous in his eyes, all right? So with that, I want to give all praises on the glory to Yahweh, Barashim, Yahweh, Shah, Barashim, Akar, Kadash, double honors to our apostles and elders, the great millstone, who will one who has taught us this truth, and also peace and salutation to the whole life. And with that, I want to say Shalom and the bar of the ball.